morning to everyone. It's a pleasure for me, a great pleasure uh, to be invited to this seminar. And uh, it's a pleasure for me to share with you recent uh, results we obtained in the Department of Theoretical Physics at our University of Lviv. Uh, so uh, what uh, the title of my talk is a geometric measure of entanglement of variational quantum states and it's quantifying on a quantum computer. Uh, my affiliation is um, Department for Theoretical Physics and also IT companies of CERN. Uh, so the outline of the talk is traditionally, so I, I will uh, give an inter introduction about why do we need to study this entanglement, the uh, importance of the results and so on. Then we discuss the geometric measure of entanglement of variational quantum states and the possibilities to detect this measure of entanglement with quantum programming on IBM's quantum devices, for instance. And also, I will share with you results of quantum calculations on regard to quantum devices. And then I will present conclusions. So let's start uh, to introduce I would like to share with you the um, uh, main, the basic points uh, when we consider the geometric measure entanglement and uh, what do we need to find this measure. So it is known, it's well known that entanglement plays great importance in quantum programming, in quantum computing, and also in quantum communication. So this fascinating property is important for various algorithms and various problems, physical problems. So to know the entanglement is also important to find this entanglement, to calculate this entanglement very fast with analytical calculations, for instance, or with quantum calculation, with studies on a quantum device, various states, and then calculation of this then uh, there are different measures of entanglement, uh, but uh, we focus on geometric measure of entanglement because uh, because of the paper presented in this slide. So this paper published by Andrzej Kradzieszek, Mikola Samar, and Professor Tkachuk from our department. Mikola Samar is also from our department in Lviv, and Andrzej Kradzieszek is from Wrocław University. Professor Andrzej Kradzieszek. So uh, for the geometric measure of entanglement, we have a nice relation of this entanglement with a mean value of spin. So the mean value of spin, to calculate the mean value of spin, it is not so hard. <laughs> so um, we can do this with quantum programming. So therefore, this entanglement, this measure of entanglement is um, considered in our papers. So uh, let's start from the beginning. So the geometric measure of entanglement is known as geometric measure because it is this entanglement, this measure of entanglement has very clear geometric representation, ge ge geometric uh, definition. So the geometric measure of entanglement is defined as minimal squared Fubini study distance of our state, between our state, the state we consider it, the state we are interested to find the entanglement of, 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 of the state, and the set of non entanglement states. So we have to find the scalar products, uh, then find the minimal value of this bracket. So according to the definition, we have to use the minimization procedure. Uh, the, the geometric measure of entanglement was proposed by Shimoni and it was in 1995. So um, you know that it is not so easy to find the minim to uh, realize this minimization procedure. So if we do this by hand, so we have to find all these values and then find this minimal value, uh, minimal of being squared for being the study, study distance and then we will have this uh, measure of entanglement. But um, not 
recent, not so recently, but on 2017. In this paper, it was found that if we are interested in entanglement of a spin with other spins, of or if we are interested of entanglement in, in, in entanglement of a qubit with other qubits in some state, we need to calculate only the mean value of spin. So we do not need to find all these values and then use minimization procedure. We have to find only the mean value of spin. So this is faster. This procedure is not so complicated. And this uh, these calculations, calculations of the mean value of spin operator can be done with quantum program. So for arbitrary state, uh, for arbitrary state, if you have the state described with the following state vector, and we are interested in entanglement of one qubit with other qubits or one spin with other qubits, and this states, it is not uh, important that this state uh, has not to be orthogonal, but of course, for each of the state, uh, we have normalization conditions. So in this paper, it was shown that we can calculate the entanglement in the following way. I, I'm so sorry. This is a mistake. We have this one. Misprint. Then uh, we are interested in variational quantum states. Uh, why do we consider the state. This is because uh, this state play important play important role in various algorithms of quantum machine learning, also quantum error correction. Uh, also variational quantum states uh, are used in QAA quantum, very well-known quantum algorithm for finding the ground state of the spin system described by Eisen model. So these states um, appear in various uh, quantum algorithms. The form, uh, it is very important to know the entanglement of the state and uh, the dependence of this entanglement on the parameters uh, used to prepare the state. So let us go to the details. So what do we see here? We, uh, here we can see the quantum protocol for preparation of the n qubit, uh, n plus one qubit, uh, <clears throat> variation quantum state, uh, which, uh, in which the blocks are constructed with rotational gates. Uh, they are ry gates. So ry, we have rotation around y axis with different parameters. And then we have entanglement block. Uh, so we have two qubit gates, a controlled phase gates also with uh, various parameters, with different parameters. So this indexes denotes that we have zero layer with the first index. Uh, sorry, the second index and the first index uh, give us gives us information on what qubit we act. So theta zero zero corresponds that we act this uh, operator on qubit zero, and we use this operator in zero layer, and then in one layer, and so on. So we can repeat these blocks, and with this protocol, we can prepare arbitrary quantum state and then quantum state because we have various parameters and we can um, choose them the, in, and uh, the choice depends on what, what we need in, in our quantum program. So um, it is, I have to say that very similar uh, protocol. I have to say that this particular, uh, this, this particular case of this more general protocol is used in quantum machine learning, uh, and uh, this protocol is used for preparing the quantum 
uh, generative adversarial network states. So they are used in quantum machine learning. Uh, so what do we see here? We have the same uh, Y gates, and then we have here controlled Z gates, not controlled phase gate, but controlled Z gates. And we know that controlled Z gates um, be obtained from the phase gates if we put here the parameter uh, of this gate to be equal to P. So um, we have a particular case, and uh, I have I had to present this because of this importance of this uh, protocol in quantum machine learning. Then I have to say that if we consider only one block, we have a quantum graph state. So if I consider only this part of protocol, I can map the state to a graph. So I have to say that quantum graph states are also very important in quantum programming because they are entanglement states and they have very clear geometric representation. Uh, so if I have the following part of protocol, I prepare the graph which has the structure of circuit. Uh, so each, in this case, each qubit correspond, uh, corresponds to a vertex in a graph and action of the two qubit gates give us information or represent uh, uh, the links between these um, vertices. So we have that qubit zero is uh, and qubit one are connected with these two qubit gates. Therefore, we have link, we have link, and we have edge between the vertices zero and one in a graph, and so on. So we have clear representation of the quantum states uh, to a graph, and we can use both techniques techniques from graph theory for studies and techniques from quantum mechanics for studies this state. So um, let us consider in more details what do we obtain um, for quantum graph states. So uh, we considered the same quantum graph states as presented in this general case general case of variation quantum protocol, variation quantum state. And um, so we have action of RY gate on zero state and then controlled phase gate. And uh, this state is a quantum graph state. And we, if we calculate the entanglement of qubit with other qubits in this state, we obtain the following result. So the entanglement of qubit with index L um, is determined by these parameters. Uh, here I have to say that the parameters of RY gates are the same and controlled phase gates are the same. This result uh, is from our paper with my PhD student Natalia Sosolowska. Uh, you can see here this paper. So um, what, what it is interesting to note and it is uh, important to know that we have a relation of the geometric measure of entanglement with the graph property and this graph property is the vertex degree. The vertex degree is the node here as n with index L. So we have direct dependence of quantum characteristics with graph characteristics. So uh, we obtain this result for arbitrary graph structure, not only graph with circuit uh, or a chain graph. We, this is general result. Then we also considered a quantum graph states prepared with the following way. So this one, I presented in the previous slide. And this one, we considered uh, recently as a more general case of quantum graph states. Uh, why it is a more general case? 
This is because in uh, this case we have that we have three parameters, and we have the intent that intentment depends on three parameters: parameters of this R X X gate, R Z gate, and R Y gate. So in this case we have only two parameters. In this case we have the three parameters, and um, it is important to note also here that uh, in this case of quantum graph state, uh, we have very clear representation of the state, we very clear uh, knowing uh, what, what do we have. So this is uh, Eisen model, and we have that um, interaction between spins correspond, corresponds to the link between vertices in a graph. So we have some spin system. We have initial state of the system. So this is the bit state. And then with parameters. And then we act by operator of evolution. This Rx x gate is operator of evolution corresponding to the Eisen model. And we obtain quantum graph state. So it is also interesting uh, to calculate the entanglement in this case. So we obtained the entanglement analytically for arbitrary uh, quantum graph state, for arbitrary graph with arbitrary structure. And we also have this dependence. So the uh, notations are the same. So if we calculate the entanglement of qubit L with other qubits in, in qubit graph state, we obtain the following result. So we obtain dependent, more complicated dependencies on the parameters. And we have here also the vertex, the degree of vertex. So we have relation of the quantum characteristics with graph properties, uh, namely the vertex degree. Then, uh, I also plot here the dependencies of the geometric measurement tendons on the various parameters. It is interesting to note that we have, of course, we have the, the, the parameters in which the state is not entanglement and the maximum has the maximal entanglement value in this case is one half. So uh, we, we studied and analyzed these uh, dependencies. And what about the second part of my talk? What about quantum calculations of all these properties? And what about um, quantum supremacy? I have to say that um, even if we have to calculate the mean value of spin, uh, not uh, to find the entanglement, not the minimization procedure, on just only the mean value of spin operator. Uh, it is not so easy to do this theoretically, to do this by uh, pen and uh, paper. So um, also, uh, if you calculate these things with classical programming, it is also not so easy to compute, to multiply all these matrices, to find these mean values. But with quantum programming, it is very fast, it is very easy. And uh, what do we have to do to find the intent? So uh, let us remember that in order to find the geometric measure of entanglement, for instance, of qubit one with other qubits in some state, some intended state, we have to find the mean values of this the spin operators or Pauli matrices, sigma x, sigma y, sigma z, of this, uh, uh, which correspond to this qubit. And uh, this we can do with quantum programming with the following protocol. So we have to prepare this variation of quantum state, some variation quantum state, and then we have to act on the qubit one by rotational gate. Uh, here we can see alpha. So I will like, explain what does it mean in the next slide. And then we have to measure the state of the qubit. So um, 
to find the mean value of sigma x gate in uh, which correspond to this qubit one we have to use this, the identity. So we know that this measurement, this quantum measurement, correspond to measurement in standard basis. So we obtain reduction to the eigenvalues, eigenstates of uh, sigma z operator. So we, we can easily found, find, we can uh, find the mean value of sigma z operator very fast knowing the results of quantum measurement. So for sigma z operator, just um, finding the difference of uh, expectation values, we obtain this mean value. But for sigma x and sigma y gates, uh, we have to use this rotation. So we have to rewrite the sigma x gate and represent this gate or this operator with sigma z operator with the help of rotation. So uh, the mean value of sigma x operator can be represented as mean value of sigma z operator, but in other states, the state uh, c was still there, is obtained after action of this operator of rotation ry gate with parameter p over uh, two on the initial state psi. So we have this possibility, we have possibility to rewrite. And then we know that the mean value of sigma z operator can be rewritten as uh, this, this uh, difference. So what do we have here? This corresponds to the probability to obtain reduction to the zero state. So this is result of quantum measurement. And this uh, probability to obtain uh, one, the state one after quantum measurement. So we can find this difference very easy uh, in result of quantum computing. Similarly for sigma y gate. So if we need to find the mean value of sigma y z, uh, gate, we have also to rotate our state. So we have also to rewrite our mean value with the sigma z operator. And here we have this C with tilde. So this state is obtained after action of the rotational gate on the, our initial state, but this rotation has to be performed around X axis. So then if we know this, we can easily find the mean value um, on the basis of the results of quantum measurements. So we have to, um, to find this mean values, we have to rotate our state. And this, uh, this alpha gate presented here depends on the mean value. So if we need to find the mean value of sigma x operator, we have to use ry gate with parameter minus p over two. If we would like to find the sigma y operator, we have to use this r gate with which corresponds in this case to rx gate with parameter p over two. And for mean value of z operator, we have not, uh, there is, it is not necessary to do uh, rotation. So without this gate, we can find the mean value of sigma z operator on the results, the basis of the results of quantum measurements. So uh, I performed all these calculations. I perform calculations of, of entanglement for various variation of quantum states. Or they also called parameterized quantum states or quantum uh, gun states. So um, the results are presented in this slide. So uh, I have to explain the notations, first of all. Uh, so what do we see? We have uh, dependencies of entanglement on parameters theta in this slide. So this theta corresponds to this rotational gates. Uh, so um, theta one, corresponds 
to this rotational case in the first block, this zero block and this first block, and theta without index correspond to this rotational gate in the zero block. Uh, theta, theta zero and theta without index correspond to the uh, entanglement of quantum graph state if we have only one block. So um, this line, this red line corresponds to the analytical calculation. So uh, I had to find this entanglement analytically, these dependencies, and then plot it. Then um, these circuits, red circuits, correspond to the results of one, uh, classical calculations or calculation of quantum simulator. Uh, so on IBM, we have possibility to program on QSM simulator. So I obtained this result with this quantum programming. I have to, to um, stress that these results also contains the er errors. So the quantum simulator can simulate this quantum error. Therefore, we have no such fascinating agreement of the circuits with um, solid line. But um, of course, the results which represented with circuits are much more better than crosses. The crosses. Uh, the crosses, black crosses, presented all these pages, um, re represent the results of quantum calculations on IBM quantum device. It was IBM Q Manila. So we can see, and it is important also to stress, that we have very nice agreement um, if we consider not so complicated quantum protocols. So if we consider only quantum graph state, so if we restrict all these things by only this part of protocol, so we use only these two qubit gates and do not repeat all these things, uh, we obtain much more better results than in these cases. Uh, but I have to say that even in this case, we have in the middle of the plot, we have this great quantum errors. So uh, we expect that the form parameter theta uh, equals to P, we obtain that entanglement is zero, but quantum device gave us the result which is larger than zero. Um, at the department, we analyze this and uh, is of course, this is because of quantum errors, gate errors, and uh, other, other things which uh, are connected with quantum technique, with quantum programming. But uh, we have also to conclude that, uh, and we know that entanglement states, to prepare entanglement state uh, in nature, it is um, more easy than non entanglement. So, um, we have these things also because of the, the this nature of our quantum state. Uh, similarly, in this case, uh, we have errors and we have the following results. So we have dependencies on the parameters of the uh, first block, zero block, and uh, in the case of graph state. And also, uh, I studied the dependence of the entanglement on the parameter of controlled phase gate. Uh, so I also use here parameter phi. So if I have only quantum graph state, I have only zero block, I have the following results. So they are better than in the case when I have this repeat repetition. So I have two blocks. So I uh, have a uh, gate error which are which is um, connected related with these gates so ry controlled phase gates and then also ry then controlled phase gates but 
I have to say that we have some kind of agreement of the results with the theoretical results. So the notations are the same. The solid line is the theoretical result. As a circuit corresponds to the uh, corresponds to the results of quantum simulator, and the crosses represent the results of quantum programming. And here I would like to present uh, also results of quantum calculations uh, on different quantum devices. They are IBM quantum device and Rigetti quantum device. So the crosses correspond to the IBM uh, programming, programming on IBM quantum device, and the circuits. Uh, green circuits uh, correspond, green dots correspond to the results of quantum calculations on Rigetti quantum device. So we have similar, uh, we have of course quantum errors and uh, we have similar behavior on all this, on all these devices. Um, we, I do not plot a lot of points here so i don't i didn't obtain this similarly as in this case a lot of points because um, to program on regretty quantum device we have to pay ibm quantum devices uh, five seven qubit ibm quantum devices are free for quantum programming and then uh, the results of quantum calculations for quantum graph state prepared with Ax X grade. This state I presented, I'm sorry, I have to move to this slide. So this quantum graph state and so this entanglement, this result of entanglement, which depends on these various parameters. So we plot, we found this with the help of quantum calculations and also analytically and also with the help of quantum simulator and check this with quantum programming. Uh, in my plots, I used the results of uh, theoretical calculation or analytical calculation for entanglement and the dependencies uh, on the parameters. So I have to say that um, to find this expression by hand, even, even if we have particular parameters, theta, um, it's more complicated than with quantum programming. Then also, it is more complicated to program, for instance, with Python or, or, or other classical uh, computing methods. This, finding this value for such complicated states. But with quantum programming, we just have to prepare the state, it is easy, then to put this, this rotational gate and then measure. And it is more faster. So we have supremacy, we have quantum supremacy for finding this value, this inputted value, geometric measure of attainment of quantum states with quantum programming. So uh, I would like to conclude. Um, so we are we are interested in geometric measure of entanglement because of its uh, importance in quantum programming. So we, we calculated we calculated this measure of entanglement with different ways, theoretically um, and also with quantum programming on a quantum devices IB, of IBM and Rigetti. Uh, we considered parameterized quantum circuits because of their importance also in quantum protocols, uh, for instance, quantum machine learning, quantum error correction, and um, uh, we propose to consider the graph states and uh, the corresponding variation of quantum protocols, which constructed with RX, X gates and uh, uh, these blocks, these rotational blocks, uh, have to include RY and RZ gates. This is because we have dependence on three parameters and we can faster uh, find the result we need to prepare the circuit we need with these gates. And we obtained for 
zero block with this variation of quantum state of, or in the case of quantum graph state, we obtain for arbitrary quantum uh, for arbitrary structure of the state, the entanglement, and we find that the entanglement really is related with the graph properties. So it is important for us to uh, because we have this mapping, we have this link between these methods of quantum mechanics and methods of quantum of graph theory. So we can uh, find properties of graph various graph with quantum programming and we can apply graph methods for finding some quantum quantum properties so it is important thing for us also uh, we found with, with the help of quantum programming this geometric measure for uh, the states considered in quantum machine learning this this are um, the quantum gun states uh, we yeah. analyze the dependence of the entanglement on parameters of the states um we have to say i have to say once more again that um this relation obtained uh, by professor Tkachuk and um, professor Andrzej Federicek and dr Mikola Simar it's important uh, in this case, this is the basis of all this calculation because this relation opens a possibility to find the entanglement very fast with quantum programming. So thank you, thank you for your attention. Thank you for the possibility to present all these results. So I hope it was interesting. Thank you. Okay, so thank you for the presentation. So do we have any questions? So maybe I have a one question. So um, so you mentioned that those uh, results, uh, that there was some high level of noise, high level of noise that you have reported in certain areas. Mm -hmm. So in a way, in a way, to what extent you can you can really treat this uh, graph as deeply quantum graph, and to what extent you can treat this semi-classically? Maybe rephrasing the question the other way: uh, Do you see any any application, more realistic application, like hybrid classical quantum uh, algorithm or something else? Uh, in our case, uh, we do not need to use this as hybrid uh, quantum classical algorithms because we we are interested in this uh, sync as this value as entanglement. But of course, of course, in other cases, so uh, I maybe this year I presented uh, the our results of studies of graph properties with quantum programming, and I showed the uh, pro protocols and algorithms for studies, the number of triangles, squares, and links in graph. So uh, these algorithms uh, are some kind of hybrid algorithms. So we have to use this quantum programming. Then on the basis of the results of quantum programming, we can calculate all these things. Uh, so this, uh, Characteristics are important in various applied problems, so they can be used in practical, um, they have practical application. So if I understand correctly, so I hope I answer on the question. Yeah, in a way, because the point is that, uh, the point is that if you have high level of noise, the quantumness of algorithms somehow is not not fully exploited, right? So then, uh, then you can still probably go above performance of classical algorithm, but you don't really get the best of best of of of, of quantumness, right? That's so that, that's why I was trying to think how to optimize your your result for more realistic sub-quantum computers in that way, right? I understand. So uh, 
have, uh, what we can do with this all this noise why do we obtain this entanglement and so on uh, so this uh, this uh, knowing of this entanglement of uh, this variation of quantum states or this um, parameterized quantum states is important in quantum error correction so there are quantum error correction algorithms uh, and we can we also in our other results and the result we model various errors, gate errors, errors of quantum measurement classically. So with the help of quantum, IBM quantum device, and we try to find uh, the influence of these errors on all other computations. Of course, it's a very, very uh, nice statement. So to play with these errors, with, to play with quantum errors, errors of quantum confusion for improving the results. Uh, in my talk, in my talk presented today, I focused on this entanglement and finding this entanglement with quantum devices, just use, used uh, the things we have in IBM in, or uh, Rigati. Uh, so, um, so we have like in academic interest, but of course we have practical interest because we, have, we can fast very fast check the um, errors, for instance, in calculations, uh, this or check find the results of uh, real uh, of entanglement of real states prepared in quantum device, with including all these gate errors and so on. I see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for answering. Uh, is there any more question towards Professor Kristina Gnatenko? Maybe I would like to say a few words. So I have to say uh, thank you a lot uh, to all of you and all people that help Ukraine in our situation, in our days of fighting and war so thank you thank you it is very important to feel the support thank you for well it's it's our kind of uh, need and also we see the necessity to do it but uh, sure surely we will uh, by the way there is a option to publish in M mtp journal uh, the quantum reports i'm not sure if to what extent the journal is, is suitable to you maybe you publish in better journals but still it's option to publish uh, for free so thank so you, you can you. you can consider by yourself or you can consider you can pass this message to somebody else i'm still co-editor of one issue so if you know some people willing to to go for it then just let me know so i will invite them for publishing thank the papers you. right thank you so much thank you All right, so if we have no more questions, let us thank speaker again. Thank you so much. Thank you.